How many times have you had to say that? People don't know what codex to use. Hmm. I probably use the um the uh, the QuickTime codex. QuickTime is not a codex. QuickTime is not a codex. It's a container. This is a metaphor. Every single car that you see on the road has the ability to go vroom, vroom, fast. Or pop, pop, slow. The speed of the car is determined by... Who determines the speed of a car? I just want a simple question. Who determines the speed of a car? The driver. Yeah. The Kodak drives the car. Is your Kodak a race car driver? Or is perhaps somebody asleep at the wheel? What do Kodaks do? No one's ever asked me that. No one has ever asked me that. Kodaks allow us to say very complicated things very quickly. Here, I'll give you an example. Okay, so um, one foggy morning, a beautiful boy with a stiff neck uh, went for a walk where he smelled the flower. Because that just seemed like the, the thing to do. Along with dancing on an old log, tipping and tapping his toes, and stomping on an old stump. Because life is simply too short for bad vibes. Or, said more simply, boy walk. Hey, do you have way too many horse photos you can't, you don't even know how to steal, know what to do with them all? Well, with a codec, you might only need just one. Why do people use codecs? Okay, that's actually a very stupid and ignorant question. That's like asking why do we shoot our enemies with guns? <laughs> instead of just walking over to them and handing them the bullets. Hey, shut up, shut up. Do you know who invented the Kodak? George Lucas. But there's one person who refuses to use Kodaks. JJ. JJ. Okay, let's talk about iframes. Iframes are very interesting. When you talk about impact compression, you're gonna never be talking about iframes. Okay, there's iframes, and then there's P-frames, and then there's B-frames. And so with an iframe, iframes is basically just JPEG compression. Yeah, iframe, 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 you have a couple of those, but in between you have P-frames, which, which are just looking for the differences in the horse photo. And then you have B-frames, which interpolate from I to P or P to P. So I, B, 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 no, I, P, B, 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 P, I, and everyone's always mad at me. It's, it's something inherent in my personality that makes people mad at me. But I think I'm actually doing quite a good job. We're really talking about co co cosine transforms or quantization. Quantization is when many of the coefficients are one, you're gonna quickly flip those and make those a zero. And that gives us the added benefit of turning your sine wave into a square wave. And of course, this is gonna help everyone with your stupid little video project because it's going to save on bitrate. And what's more important when you're making a dumbass video than bitrate?
hope that helped. If you're still not sure which codec to use, just use uh, ProRes when you're editing, and maybe H.264 if you're going to upload it to the internet. Thank you.